What is up, super fans? I'm Matt Stockholm, and this is another edition of The Quantum Corner. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below. That will get you into our giveaways, and I will talk more about that at the end of the video. Okay, so for today's video, we are going to do the TQC Friday Rundown, and basically go through the biggest high points of the news, MCU news and such, through the course of the week. And along with doing the rundown today, this is actually my 100th video upload. Woo! So thank you guys so much for your support, for watching. I really appreciate it, and it's a driving force that keeps me going. So thank you guys so much. Okay, enough of that. Let's get into the video. Okay, so Keanu Reeves, news about him has been all over the internet. There's been a lot of talk about him possibly being Wolverine or... Adam Warlock or Cast of the Eternals movie. I have myself done a couple videos where this has been the topic. Well, yesterday, uh, Kevin Feige had an interview where he had talked about basically confirming that, yes, Keanu Reeves is going to be in the MCU. He didn't say exactly which film, but he also stated that they basically uh, met with Keanu pretty much from the beginning. You know, they just wanted to find the best fit for him, much like they did with Jake Gyllenhaal. They met with Jake Gyllenhaal several times before they found him the role of Mysterio that really fit best. So, no, judging by what the MCU's done, I trust their judgment. And if they're waiting for a specific character, then it's probably going to be the best that it could possibly be. So, uh, I'm actually going to be doing a video where I'm going to do my dream fan castings and kind of what castings I think are possible and whatnot. So, with this video today, I'm going to give you a little tease of that. And for Keanu Reeves... Uh, I'm going to give you my insight and my thought for a possible character. And it's not any of the ones that have been mentioned lately. Kevin Feige made a report where he had talked about uh, the Adam Warlock character specifically. Saying that Adam Warlock is like a baby. So he really wanted to cast like a younger character to, to take this role. And Keanu is just a little above uh, where they want. Actually quite a bit probably above where they want. I believe he's in his 40s if I'm right. I'm not exactly sure but I know it's right around there. Um, but he's getting up there. And again, the, wolo, the role of Wolverine, they're looking for somebody who can carry the franchise for the next 10 years. I just don't think that's going to be the right fit age-wise for Keanu. What do I think the right fit could be? I think it could be the Silver Surfer. Now, there was whispers of this a while back and talks of him possibly being the Silver Surfer. And I think with the Fantastic Four stuff really rolling now... And the right, the Fox own uh, rights being back to Disney, I think this is a definite possibility. And I think with his cold, emotionless personality that he can have, I think this would be a really good role for him. And I think age-wise it wouldn't matter, especially with CGI and things like that. It, it's not going to really matter at all. So I think the Silver Surfer would actually be a good role. Keanu's cut, he has the look, and like I said, with CGI and stuff, it could definitely, it could definitely work. So let me know what you guys think uh, for Keanu. What do you think the best role is? Do you agree, disagree? I always like hearing you guys' feedback. Okay, next. Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, spoiler alert in case this becomes true. But there are rumors and possible leaks that Tobey Maguire may somehow come into play in Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, the prevailing theory is that it's somehow a post-credit tease. Now, there's been talk of trying to bring some of these Spider-Men even Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, into the same movie at some point or another. And I think with now the Spider-Verse and the Multiverse, it's definitely possible, and it's something they could do relatively easy, because it could be a completely separate universe. Where they Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you want to see Tobey Maguire or Andrew Garfield show up in the MCU. Another little bit of news about Venom in the Spider-Verse. Uh, Kevin Feige was asked if he thought that Tom Hardy's Venom could cross paths with Tom Holland's Spider-Man, and he said it's very likely. So I really think this is something that's also going to happen, and I'm really looking forward to it. Another aspect would be Tom uh, Tom Hardy coming into the MCU. I would love to see him uh, play a role in the Dark Avengers movie that's been rumored to be in production. So I'm really excited about this. Again, let me know what you guys think. I really care about your opinions, and I'd like to know uh, what you guys feel on the subject. Okay, last and certainly not least, but probably the key point for this video today. Uh, recently it was announced that Avengers Endgame is going to hit theaters again. Yep, you heard me. A second run. Now apparently there's going to be some new footage, new scenes, and even a really special post credit scene. 
which as an Avengers fan, that's very exciting. And I definitely want to know what you guys think about it. But here's my spin, okay? If you're like me and you paid to see Endgame multiple times, it's a lot of money keeping up with this stuff. Not just the movies, but the merch, the toys, the comics, and I collect a lot of it. And it's really getting expensive. I mean, comic shops, Marvel Legends, it's all growing in price, growing in popularity. You're dealing with Target exclusives, Walmart exclusives, Walgreens exclusives. It's really hard to keep up with all this stuff, and it's, it's really costly. So, though I love Marvel, I love the content, I love everything we're getting, I love being a fan, I love collecting, it's getting really difficult to keep up with everything. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think Marvel's just trying to bleed us a little too much? Are you okay with it? You know, Marvel specifically has a very dedicated fan base. I mean, it, many, many, many fans out there don't hesitate to hand it over for the good product. And I know for me, with movies that they've put out in the last 10 years, I've had no problem paying to see. But with all the merchandise and posters and everything, it can be a real expense. So let me know what you guys think. Does this bother you at all? Does it not bother you? Are you okay with it? And also let me know what you think about Keanu and the casting, Silver Surfer, Wolverine, Adam Warlock. I definitely want to hear your guys' opinions. And what do you think about Spider-Man Far From Home? Are you excited to see Venom come into the Spider-Verse? Do you think Tobey Maguire will make an appearance in Spider-Man Far From Home? All these things, guys, I want to know. So that's pretty much it, guys. So TGIF, happy Friday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. Have a great one. As always, don't forget, subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below. That will get you into our giveaway. Our next poster giveaway is at 200. And our recently announced 1K giveaway is going to be the Marvel Legends Nanotech Gauntlet. So keep watching, keep sharing, keep paying attention, guys. For the Quantum Corner, I'm Matt Stockholm saying, stay super, everybody.